Oh, oh, that aftertaste. That's good. Being president of the United States, you get to choose pretty much any kind of food you want to eat in the White House. And well, this was Honest Abe's and you can actually still buy it today. Find out what it is and we'll put it to the ultimate taste test of my friends and family. In fact, it's one of the oldest foods still in continual manufacture in the United States and it's called Durkee sauce. Yes, Durkee sauce. It's a condiment that you put on basically chicken or beef or anything and Honest Abe loved it. He would make sure it would go anywhere that he did. On a train, served at White House dinners, and you can still find it around today. Well, is it any good? And what exactly does it taste like? Well, let's find out as we put Durkee sauce to the ultimate taste test. It's not that bad. It's not bad. Oh, oh, that aftertaste. It tastes like some spicy mustard or some shit. That's good. The Durkee Corporation is known for their herbs, spices, and powdered sauces that can liven up your cooking. But they're also known for their mustard and mayonnaise mix sauce that has been around since 1851. That's right, still sold now in the 21st century. That's Abraham Lincoln's favorite food. It's good. It tastes like a yellow mustard to me. I think it's just a little bit too much mayonnaise. That's gross. Now the sauce was first created in Buffalo, New York. Yes, home of the Buffalo Wing, but it became more famous as it traveled west. It doesn't require refrigeration, so it's easy for travelers to take. But rumor has it that many Gold Rush wagon trails were littered with empty jars of the product. Midwesterners loved the flavor and at one point would even base their Thanksgiving turkeys with it. Interesting. It, it's it's not horrible. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like it had been, you know, it's been around since the Civil War. I mean, it tastes almost like, um, like sauerkraut, like we have on a hot dog, which is pretty good. Very mustardy, <laughs> salty. Well, the internet was loaded with stories and half-truths about the product, but apparently President Lincoln, he loved it. He would add it to his boiled meat sandwiches, and Civil War soldiers would also take it with them onto the battlefield. It'd give him a little morale boost and, well, some better flavored food. And why not? It's not just for sandwiches, it can be used in potato salads, egg toppings, and more, and Mr. Lincoln insisted on having it. Oh, it's like mustard that's supposed to be sweet, but they fail really hard. It's like a honey mustard and mayonnaise. But it legitimately tastes like yellow mustard. That's what it tastes like. Nothing special in addition. But as the years passed, the company was sold, the recipe was sold along with it. And at one point, there was a big plant in Brooklyn, which has since been subdivided into a school. But now it's sold by B&G Foods. And this jar I bought, well, I got it off of Amazon, and it's manufactured in Memphis, Tennessee. Emancipation Proclamation. All right, so here's the thing. Would you like to have a taste of one of President Lincoln's favorite foods? You can, because jerky sauce is one of the oldest continually manufactured foods that you can still buy right now in the United States. There's even a deli in Brooklyn that's holding on to tradition by serving turkey sandwiches slathered with the sauce. So if you can't find it at your local store, thank God for the internet because you can find this bottle of history ready to ship right to your door. It tastes okay. like <laughs> shitty bootleg Chick-fil-A sauce. It's good for what it is. Hey, back in the old days, the Wells Fargo wagon would bring us to you. Well, now it's coming to you via Amazon, right? All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Um, all right look i'm not really in love with it it's kind of a you definitely can taste the mustard definitely can taste the mayo it's got a little bit of like a vinegar hint to it too and it's definitely coating my mouth it's hard to talk it's also like a, got a little spice i'm getting in the back of the throat too this might be good like maybe on like a turkey or chicken sandwich i wouldn't do it on like a soft pretzel or like you know chicken nuggets wouldn't do that but one thing I gotta say though, it's cool that you can get a taste of the past like this today. And it's cool that this thing is still manufactured all the way back from Honest Abe's day. So you know what? Let me know if you guys tried. Hit me up on Twitter at JerseyJoe50. And uh, it is definitely getting hard to talk. So I'm going to wrap this web show up by reminding you to click that like and subscribe button down below. Because you know what? That's one cool thing I love about doing these web shows. When we find cool, fun pieces of history like this. And just little fun facts we can chill out with for a few minutes. So Jersey Joe here, your friend, saying thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, I hope. <laughs>